Um, I have seen an interview with you before you were elaborating about the new data centers of um, US <coughs> intelligence. Um, my question, this is the first question I have, um, how do you assess the real world capabilities of those? What is actually possible? Is every data that is anywhere being intercepted stored? And is it, how is the capability of analysis? Um, compared to the amount of, of data available. Yeah. Second question would be, you, um, you were shortly talking about targeting. Um, does this involve um, drone targeting, drone attack targeting, yes. and how? Well, uh, what you have to, uh, well, let me take your first question first. Uh, it had to do with uh, uh, the, the, um, the, w w the first one you were asking was, could you, Capabilities. Well, the point is, uh, how many nearest devices can they afford to buy? Literally, they can buy thousands. So that, and you multiply that by 10 gigabits a second, and what's the capacity of the world communications? I mean, to me, I, I uh, set the goal of uh, doing 20 terabytes of data a, a minute. Uh, it was basically, my, that was my estimate of the amount of unique data, not, not repeats across different segments of the line, but of unique data passing across the entire network. So that was my estimate, so I set that as the initial goal. Maybe we'd have to go higher. But you need to, the, you had to have a design of, in, of knowledge acquisition in that, and then also delta differencing knowledge and sharing the deltas so you could reduce the problem of, re of updating all of, the, all of the graphs that are that are deployed necessary to make this process work. So, but by delta differencing, every, every change, is it something new? If it's not something new, you don't, you don't need to up, update your graph it, that you're using to filter information. But if you get something new that's important to, to, to filter out, to look at, then you, that needs to be distributed across all the graphs around the world so that they then could pick up all of that information and forward it. Okay, so uh, my estimate of that is that's probably what they're already doing. That's why they need Bluffdale. Because Bluffdale, by my estimate, uh, could hold on the order, if you only took uh, uh, textual type data and uh, the audio that you were targeting, your target list, that uh, Bluffdale, which according to my estimates also, <laughs> will hold five zettabytes of data even with current capability that's advertised and you can buy. This is probably not their, they're probably gonna do better than that, okay. But just with five zettabytes, that's probably on the order of 100 years of worth of collection of the world's communications. That's my estimate too. But it sure is a lot, okay. <laughs> I mean, five zettabytes is five times 10 to the 21st bytes. A lot of bytes. Yeah. <laughs> But it's not, it's, not it's not a Yoda bite, though. <laughs> that's the next step. And that's what they're working on now, I'm sure. So, so five zeta bytes was my minimum estimate there for that storage alone. That's not the only site. They're building that one because they're collecting too much data and they need more storage. So that's their estimate of need for the future. Okay. They're already, they're already so, storing data. Okay. 